Today I'm making Dracula's Dentures, a really fun Halloween cookie. And here are the ingredients that we need. You need cookies. These are my pecan chocolate chip cookies. I'll put a link to this recipe at the end of this video. You also need buttercream or any type of icing. I've got my buttercream. This is a Wilton basic buttercream recipe. I'll put a link to that as well at the end of this video. I'm using some Wilton Red food coloring. We also need mini marshmallows. Those are gonna be for the teeth. And we also need some almond slivers for the fangs. So those are the ingredients. Let's get started. All right, for this recipe, I'm just using that amount of buttercream. I didn't measure it. I just took it out of my other bowl. And I'm going to take some of my Wilton red coloring and I'm going to start getting that all mixed in there. So I'm going to continue mixing this up and when I've got a nice red I will be back. Alrighty, so I've been mixing this up and that looks pretty good now. I added a little bit more of this stuff here. This is uh, Wilton and it's actually called Red Red. So this is the icing color. There we go. All right, so on to our next step. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do is we're going to use our cookies in pairs and what we're gonna do, take a knife and just cut each one of your cookies in half. All right, so that you have two halves. And basically, that's the bottom part of the jaw and this will be the top part of the jaw. And just a little tip, if you don't want your cookies to crack, don't push down, use, use a knife that has a serrated edge and just basically saw. And that will just do a cleaner cut, all right? So on to the next step. Alrighty, so what I've done is I've taken all of my cookies and just cut them in half, all right? That's number one. Number two, I've taken my icing and I've put it into my piping bag. Now, if you don't have a piping bag, you can use a pallet knife or a kitchen knife to apply the icing. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it with the piping bag and let's get started. I know I tend to go on a little bit in my video so I'm trying to shorten them a little bit because I know they tend to get rather long. So anyway, here we go. All right, so let's take, we've got two pieces here. There we go. And we'll turn it around this way. And this is going to be the bottom part of the jaw. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Alrighty. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically pipe some icing just along here. And that is going to be the bottom jaw. And that is the gum line. Then this is where we bring in our little teeth, which are the mini marshmallows. So here they are here. And so what I'm going to do, and I'll just put these here so you can see them. And we're just going to take the marshmallows now, and I'm going to start just placing them very gently, all in a row, just like teeth. Now, what's nice about this buttercream is that if you leave it out a while, it's very, very easy to push the marshmallows into the icing. So if you have it in the fridge and it's rather hard to work with, let it warm up a little bit. So there we go. You can actually start seeing that it's starting to look like teeth. Doesn't really matter how many you want to get in there. There we go. How does that look? Pretty good, eh? All right. Now, I'm going to grab the other part and let's just make sure that we do the proper placement here and go along the front. Just like that. I'll put a, just fill in a little bit here. There we go. Alrighty. And if you do make a little mistake, or you just want it a little bit more perfect, you can just kind of round it off. And like I said, if you don't have a piping bag, you can just use a knife and just apply the icing like that. Alright, so at this point now we've got that done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the top part of the jaw, and I'm going to place it right on top here. And then without breaking it, you want to just give it a little bit of a squeeze. And if some of the teeth want to pop out, just pop them back in. And there we go. 
All right, look at that. All right, so on to the next step. Alrighty, and the last finishing step is to add Dracula's fangs. So I'm just going to turn this slightly so I can actually see what I'm doing here. And we just want to place his fangs. And the fangs are always from the top down. So I'm gonna get that in there just like that. Put one there and over here somewhere. And you can place them wherever you want. I'll just stay right there. And just push them right into the frosting just so they ad adhere. And there we go. And there is Dracula's dentures. Isn't that a great fun Halloween cookie for the kids? So that's it for this video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a few more and then I will just show you at the end. I'll show you three or four of them done. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. This one was really, really fun and you can see really how easy it is. The homemade pecan chocolate chip cookies, I will put a link at the end of the video and also for the Wilton basic buttercream icing as well. So that's it for this video. I'll see you next time.